I am talking to you today and I want to tell you what is a summary project report just in case you have not come across a summary project report and if you are an entrepreneur and you are watching this make sure to get your paper and pencil or pen so that you can be able to note down these things so that as you consult you already have some background information all right so let's get into it So what is a summary project report? This is a report that is usually done for projects that are categorized as low risk projects. I'm going to link that video somewhere here so that you can watch and see which are these projects. I have talked about the high risk projects, medium risk projects, and the low risk projects. So make sure to go back to my channel and watch those videos if you're not yet um, familiar. So now these, the provision of the summary project report came about in 2019 by the legal notice 30 and 31 that was made that came by in 2019 and so a summary project report is done for the low risk projects and also some some medium risk projects so the, the legal notice uh, states that a summary project report is done for all projects that are categorized as low risk and medium risk now that is what the law says on paper according to my experience According to my, to, according to me, according to how I do it, I prefer to do a summary project report on low risk projects. If I'm doing a building, maybe a commercial building or a residential building, if it does not exceed 30 units, then I'll do a summary project report. In depending on the area, on where the area is, I could just opt to do a comprehensive report as much as it is said you're supposed to do a summary project report because a summary project report is like summarizes the big report that we used to do and now this is a project that is So according to my opinion, the advice that I would give you is that do a normal assessment, but now what to simplify is the report. Part of the report like the legal framework, reduce that. Make sure now it's, 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 it's just mentioned maybe. Don't really do five page explaining the legal framework that govern that project. Maybe simplify that, summarize that, okay? Other projects like uh, alternatives, just summarize those ones. Remember we have said summary project report is for the low risk project. So we, we really believe the impacts that are going to be uh, to come from the projects are really low risk and they can all be mitigated. So provide mitigation measures to this impact. So the key areas to check for or to really explain as you're doing this report is the location. Really describe very well the location of that project. Also, mention any sensitive area that could be in the close or in the in close proximity to the proposed project if there is a river nearby if there's a swamp maybe there is a um, cultural center around make sure to mention these areas mention any sensitive area that could be around the place the other thing is the zonation is that thing or is that project within the zoned area is the area agricultural and somebody wants to do an industry so make sure to mention to mention that if it is zoned and if if they are changing the use of the initial zonation of the area do they have a change of use uh, allowing them to do so okay the other thing that you need to do is the environmental management plans what does the proponent plan how does the proponent plan to so, to solve or to carry out environmental management for example wastewater are they using a septic tank about digester or are they connected to the sewer line all right waste the waste the solid waste how, how will they dispose of the solid waste 
Will they use the municipal council or will they deploy private waste handlers to handle that? Okay, so such things make sure to mention the environmental management plan. Those are just a few that I'm mentioning. The other part that you need to make sure it's very detailed is the the mitigation i mean the impact identification and the mitigation measures go deep in this because you want to identify them all and make sure they have mitigation measures to really uh get rid of these impacts or really soothe the impacts that could come from uh from from the building or the project all right the other thing that i have seen and has been debated I have seen this, I have felt the debate within my area of operation with other experts is should a summary project report have an environmental management plan? Initially when it was very very new, it was still being introduced, some experts did not put in an environmental management plan as because it is not mentioned. In the legal notice, there is a, a section that talks about what should be contained in a summary project report. And an environmental management plan is not one of them. But now I don't think there is what was the essence of doing an assessment, an assessment if you're not going to provide a plan to deal with the, the impacts. You identify the impact, yes. You have mitigation measures, yes, but have you created a plan for the client to follow if they are to implement the mitigation measures? So I think personally you need to have an environmental management plan okay in your summary project report and of course the other thing that is important to mention is that this report is done online so make sure to submit it online just the way we do any other application online just go to NEMA website the licensing portal log into your account and you'll see the summary project report there so make sure to fill in the form and attach the documents that are required and the document required of course is this is the, is the report itself so have the report okay have the designs of the plan, have the land ownership documents, make sure you have a submission form that is filled, make sure to have a signed page that is signed by you, the lead expert and the, the client, all right? And then submit them online. So after submission of the online, uh, the online system, you get an acknowledgement instantly, and this has the reference number of your report. So you have an acknowledgement letter that comes immediately you submit. And now this acknowledgement letter is what you offer. All is a copy to your client, right? Also, depending on the email that you use. If you, you use the email of the client, then the client will receive the acknowledgement letter on the email, right? Now then, you could decide to take the report to the office or you could just decide to use that. So I personally still insist that you take a copy of the hard of the reports to the office make sure to take two copies so that one is left as the main main file for the office file and you have one for your client because you need to give your clients these reports so that they can go through them and also learn something because why do an assessment if you're not going to give the client the report so that they can go through it and see what you have written and what you have recommended how are they going to get educated so give the report these reports and make sure to go to take them through the report, answer any question they might have, explain to them, remember this is a technical document, explain to them what is an environmental management plan, what are mitigation measures, which are these impacts that you have identified, why do you think they could occur, if they occurred, what are they supposed to do? So this is where now you connect and educate your client on what is expected of them. So in short, I could speak, 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 but in short, that is a summary project report. It's the simplest report that we have. So if you're watching this and you're uh, an, uh, an entrepreneur, an investor, I swear this is the best time to invest in the construction industry. This is the best, best, best time that you'll, I don't know if you'll ever have again, to do your building. If you have a plot that you want to, to kujenga, maybe nyumba commercial or kukondisha also, please do it now. Now, like now, so easy. Get the designs, the plans, get me to do the environmental impact assessment for you and get started. Remember, summary project reports are, are supposed to be approved or you're supposed to get a feedback within five days. Imagine, five days you have your approval letter. I mean, Seriously, what else do you expect? What else is Anyway, <laughs> I'm just being me. So that's it. Make sure to get me to get any question you have, 
down in the comment section i'll be waiting there with a the pen and paper to answer them any inquiries you want to make hit me up on my email mukami environmentalist gmail.com mukami environmentalist gmail.com mukami environmentalist without any space in between mukami environmentalist at gmail.com and i'll be there to answer your question and queries and any other information that you might require from me but till then keep safe this is mukami the environmentalist and this is where we connect people the planet and the profits bye bye